to stage four, right? Then you go to stage four. I'm not going to repeat myself. Then you go to stage four. You do what? You again carry out what? Process annealing, so on and so forth. So what are we doing? So this is an interesting part, okay? Right? What are we doing in terms of uh, the stress strain curve? Okay, what are we doing in terms of, of our uh, stress strain curve? Okay, so this is, so I'm, I'm going to draw our stress strain curve. This is our stress. This is our strain, right? So we want a strain of 0 0.5, right? So I'm going to draw how the material stress strain curve will behave. Okay, so it's going to do this. Right, and then it will come here. Okay, it will come here. So I'm 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 trying to eyeball this to be about 0.2. Okay. Okay. So we know down here, right? This is 0 0.2. This is what we've been known, right? But we want to stretch it to be 0 0.5. Okay. So some of you say, Eugene, why not we like change the material, you know? Yeah, you can change a material that has higher ductility of strain to fracture, but it'll be not known as steel. The only material that can do 0 0.5 is maybe aluminum, for example. So you, you as an engineer, you cannot tell a client, hey, mister, can you change to aluminum rather than using steel? Because I cannot make your product. You can't do that at all, right? That is not possible. So what, what, we, what we do is this, okay? So that is the material behavior, right? So this is the, this is the material behavior, okay? So this is, this is the, this is the material behavior. Right? So when we carry out stage one, okay, when we carry out stage one, so we bend it to 0 0.15, so 0 0.15. So this is my 0 0.15. Right, so we bring it up. Right, we bend it. Right, right, we bend it down here. Right, so it's permanently distorted, yes or no? Right, so this is, this line over here is stage one. Right, we permanently deform it. Okay, so that's your plastic strain. And then what we do after that is we bring it down, right? And this is what stage two does, right? And now this is our new zero plastic strain. Okay. We just erase the what? We just erase the strain why we can erase it because we just get the microstructure to 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 uh, become round again and the strain is equal we just erase it then the next thing that we do right we deform this right then 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 we go through this again and then we do this so now this is your stage what uh sorry this is your stage three right and then after that you bring it back again okay you go process annealing so this is your stage four when you bring it down to zero you stress relief everything right process anneal it again become what zero again right it becomes zero again right so then after that you 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 you, de you deform it again, right? You deform it again. You deform, right? 
So now this is your stage five. Okay. So this is what process annealing. So eventually you get to the length of 1.5 or 0 0.5 strain without what? Fracture. Okay, without fracture. So that is the purpose why we carry out process. So you can you can see schematically how the stress strain curve works, yes or no, right? When you process a new, you rearrange the what? You rearrange the microstructure. Okay, then the strain will become zero again, right? Then you can pull, you can pull it be, become lo uh, longer. If you don't do this, it will fracture. Okay, so that is where you carry out process annealing. Now the problem is this: you bend stage one, so you you have one thousand pieces, for example. You have to bend a thousand pieces, send it to the furnace to process anneal. Okay, the process anneal again is dependent on how badly. Okay, so the time I'll, I'll write down here the time and Temperature is dependent on how badly the or badly the microstructure is distorted. The more severe. You need more time, or you bring up to higher temperature. The problem is too high a temperature. You need more time to cooling. Okay, so this is what process annealing is. Okay, as I said, you 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 have no choice. Okay, if if, if your if your client or your process required to strain to zero point five, the only thing is to change material. But you cannot change material. That's not an option for you. Okay, so you have to carry out process annealing. And there are companies doing process annealing. I know one in Oakville that they do process annealing. And the heat treatment company was so nice to them. What they did is they opened the heat treatment plant opposite the company. Okay, so they just set it there and then bring it back, send it there. Okay. I, I, I did wonder why they just don't buy furnace and do it. Okay. Uh, sir? Yes. So... You're not limited to how many times you can do process annealing, right? You can do oh, many stages, yeah. but yeah, you it's just the time consumption and yeah, it's yeah. just a time function, right? Right. So, so imagine if 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 your heat treatment plant is opposite, it's fine. If your heat treatment, let's say your company is in Oakville and your heat treatment is in Markham, you get what I mean? Okay. So you have waiting time, so on and so forth. Okay. Right. So the next process we are going to look at is uh, spell dizing. Okay, so I will move my table back. Professor? Yes. Call me um, Eugene for crying out loud. <laughs> okay. Uh, Everyone, there's a, okay? Yep. There's a very quick question about the graph. Um, you see the stages two, four, and six when it goes all the way down. Mm. How would it be a strain equals zero? Because it looks like the strain, the x-axis would be like 0.15. I, I, I know, it's 0.15. But when you do process annealing, you just erase the 0.15. Oh. Right? How so that, basically, like... so you rearrange your microstructure. It becomes like, like original again. Okay. Oh, got it, got it. Thank you. You get what I mean? It's, it's, it's like I, I, I turn 50. I want to look younger. I go Botox, <laughs> right? Right? You get what I mean? Then now I look 20. You know what I mean? Right? It's the same thing, right? Okay. So like <laughs> stages three and five kind of begin from like the zero, zero. Yeah, the there track. you go. You, yeah. yeah. From your question you're asking me, I can see that you understand the concept now. Good. You okay? All right. So the the, the next one we are going to look at is uh, spiralization. Spherodization. Okay, so spherodization is this region that we are looking at now. So it's this one that we are looking at now. Okay, so this is the place where we do spherodization. Okay, so this is the area. So as you can see, right, is anything that is what? Greater than 0.6. Okay, so the purpose of spherodization is to produce 
Okay, is to produce a structure. In which, in which all the cementite remember the cementite, the original form is in plates, right? And we want to transform. Okay, transform into small spear. Okay, Sm small spheroids. Okay, small spheroids throughout the cementite um, matrix. Okay. We'll do the cementite matrix. Okay, drop the cementite matrix. Okay. So we only could do this. Okay, we are only, I mean, it's only effective to do this when your carbon is greater than 0.6. If less than that, we are wasting time. Okay, the, 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 the effect will not be significant. Okay. But the question is, what is this effect? Okay, so spiritization Okay, spiritization uh, should be carried out. Okay, when percentage. of carbon is greater is greater than 0.6 percent okay if you do it less than that okay there will be no dynamic advantage. I use the word dynamic. I'm going to tell you all why later on. Okay. So now. So to increase. So when do we, when do we actually, so what does uh, spiritization do to the structure? There, there's a more important question. Okay. Is to increase. Okay, is to increase its resistance okay, resistant, uh, to cracking okay, to cracking uh, induced by cyclic loading or fatigue. That's why we use the name dynamic. Okay, dynamic because it's under what? Cyclic loading and fatigue. So this is what we term dynamic. Okay, this is where we term it dynamic loading. So let's, I'm going to scratch, sketch a microstructure. Okay, I'm going to, I'm going to sketch the cementite region. Okay, I'm going to sketch the cement. So this is our cementite. Okay, this is so we have cement type plates running this way. Okay, so this is our this is our cement type plates. Okay, so this is our this is our cement type plates. And uh, the the dark region over here, this is our ferrite. 
Okay. So after we bring it through sparodization, okay. So our microstructure, I'm trying to draw the same, becomes like this. 